So, so this is a remake of a video uh, I made some time ago on making random a random sentence generator using Python. And so here I'll make it a little more interesting, and I'll use one of Noam Chomsky's uh, phrase structures from his book. And it's just that phrase structure that was there sometime a couple of seconds ago. Uh, so this is a very simple phrase structure. Uh, it starts with uh, a substructure, which is NP, right? So that's actually what we'll call what we're coding right now. We're coding NP, which actually it's just like an example of NP, which is composed of an article and a noun, right? So the and n. So for that, just like if you want to uh, just code them, it's really easy to just display it right away as a, as a unit, right? Just by printing by the print statement. However, we want a little more something a little more complex that can apply uh, to joining several sort of structures together. So that's what we are doing right now. We're going to be implementing uh, something that is called a property which is called arcs on one of our functions that we're writing. So this arcs basically just uh, joins however many um, arguments you want to give it, right? If you do an asterisk as we, as I showed you, as, as I just coded, right? So this with this function, assemble function, you can assemble uh, sorry about that. You can assemble two different, uh, two or more uh, strings together, right? And as you can see, um, if I just run it without the print statement, it will not print. So that's some versatility we we want that we don't have with the print statement alone, right? So this is basically why we need that assemble function. Now, what we're going to do after we've coded this assemble function, which is very practical, and you know, learning arcs is great as well, because it's not only applicable here on standard generation; it's also applicable, uh, you know, on other functions that you may need to to code later on in Python, unrelated to this. So it's always good that you know it, you learned it. Um, so NP is this um, phrase substructure of the NP plus BP structure, right? Sentence. So MP is composed of T and N, as I mentioned before. So it's very simple. We just uh, call on the call on to the previous fun assemble function that we made to make this one. And now we're also now below here, what we're writing here in uh, line 15, I think. No, sorry, 19 is the BP substructure, which is composed of a verb and also of an NP substructure, right? Um, if you are a little confused about this, you can just like refer, look at the PowerPoint uh, three to the to the right of this video, I mean on the right side of this video, and so you can follow follow that you know the whole structure of that of this sentence, right? So what we're doing now is we're typing a uh, the function the sentence a function function which builds the whole sentence, right? And as you can see, also this sentence is composed of those two substructures that we just coded. Uh, so we just give it that assemble. Uh, function. It's like a function within a function. So and that's basically what it is, right? So let's uh, test it and see if it works well. So that's what, what I'm going to do right now. And just type uh, define a t and an n, right, for noun. I may also need to define a verb, right? But first, let me just type um, the, those substructures. Um, yeah, I'll just type the verb now. Why not? Okay, so I'm just using the actually all the words or morphemes as Chomsky calls them, and all the words that are used in that example from his book. Right, this whole this complete sentence is the man hit the ball. Right, hit as in past tense. So I'm basically also I created a vector. I turned uh, the n noun. Uh, variable into a vector so that it can contain two nouns, man and ball. And so now this first uh, substructure of MP would be just that uh, T word followed by the first noun on the N vector, which is man. That's the first MP, right? Now the VP substructure would be a verb and a different, or it could be equal, right? doesn't have to be the man hit the ball and the man hit something else. It could be the man hit the man, right? Um, nonetheless, we'll make it different here. So in order for us to make it different, we need to define two different NP substructures, which is what I'm doing here. NP1, composed of uh, you know 
the, uh, the article the and the and the noun the first noun and then the other one uh you know the second second noun that we have in that vector right so we define mp1 mp2 and now the bp1 substructure which is just bp is a function of the second mp substructure right so that's what i, what I typed and now we we build the sentence and the sentence is just the np1 and bp1 substructures joined together okay so uh, after defining that sentence then we you know enclose it in the print statement then it prints it perfectly right the man hit the ball so so this is very simple and cool and all but what we want of course is to uh, have a random sentence generator, right? For that, this is not random, this is just an example. Uh, and of course, we may want to build more than one sentence, right? So for that, we need a loop. And this is basically what I'm coding now. I'm coding a function that loops over different words and then, uh, you know, selects those places, all of those words together or morphemes into the phrase structure that, I, that I've defined here below. Okay, so that loop, the input will be an x and this x would be the number of iterations or the number of sentences we want to generate okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this uh, structure that we built um i'm just going to copy copy it uh from you know the what we just made and paste it into this uh code block into this uh, iteration code block and of course i'm going to have to modify it a little bit right so so that it can select uh, random words at randomly and i'm just copying it to make it faster to make a to code it a little faster and not have to write the same thing again uh, you know just making modifications as as i need right so in order to make uh make it random we may need to add more words to to these uh to these more morpheme vectors or variables, right? Uh, however, it's what I just did is I imported a, a module, which basically a random module generates random numbers, right? Uh, so, so yeah. What we're gonna do, of course, like as I mentioned before, is we need to uh, select words and randomly. Uh, all of these words, of course, need to be defined as variables. So this is what I'm, I'm doing right now. I'm just defining the variables which contain those randomly selected words, you know, like those randomly selected nouns, articles, and that randomly selected verb. So I'll just, uh, you know, uh, define two, two noun variables. The noun variable would be, uh, you know, just basically selecting this, using this choice function, which is a choice, uh built-in built-in function of, uh from that random module right uh and random choice just selects uh, a certain variable from a vector uh, and of course right now what i'm doing is i'm also uh you know redefining these substructures the bp1 substructure and np ones substructures as a function of those variables right um of course what i'm doing now here so I'm just gonna, I'm just, you know, in order for us to generate random sentences, we need more words, right? <laughs> than just this, these. I, think I, I, I wrote monkey here <laughs> at some point. Um, and I'm just writing some other elaborate words, perhaps, or other words such as carousel, right? I think it's French, but um, I'm just here. I thought it was, I like how it sounds, so I, I just added it. Um, and other words that I'm writing here, several words, guitar, fire. Now for birth, I'm also gonna write some new words. And I'm just, uh, just anything that pops into your mind, just write it, you know. Um, I'm gonna make sentences, just any word that can you can use basically, that can be defined as a verb, okay? So after we are done with our our uh, verb list, then we just close the bracket. 
right? Coded, ran. Okay, and now we're gonna add also articles to our article uh, variable. We're gonna also make it into a variable. We can add a possessive, possessive terms such as there, right? Um, maybe other possessive terms such as our, and you know, different sexes, like his, right, when, and her, and you know, um, I guess like her, right, this is, if it's gender non-binary or you know like uh, just making it it's kind of like a new thing right so her and so what we're going to do now is also going to be defining these um, obviously all of these variables right are just random choice choices from those vectors above right um, and now I think that's basically it, right? So now what we do is we're just gonna have to call onto that loop function. And by calling it, we just need to write the loop function. Function. So we just write loop. Um, and then uh, open parentheses and then type however many times you want to iterate, how many sentences you wanna generate. So we're just gonna put one to just test the algorithm, see if it works. Uh, and now we're gonna just run it and it gives me an error. It says too many values to unpack. Yeah. So I just made a common mistake where I just defined two variables, you know, and then I just gave it one input. So that's one output, I mean. So I actually, you know, because I'm separating it by commas, it's just, uh, I kind of like forgot about that. So now n1 is the first random choice of n, and n2 would be the second random choice of n and so on and so forth. I'll run the code and it just gives me a random sentence. So now it works, right? The guitar ran her fire. Here computer healed the monkey, right? So we can iterate over several times and her bowl coded their guitar. I like that one better. So all these sentences are grammatically correct, believe it or not. I mean, depending on your consensus on the consensus of her, right? This new uh, new pronouns, I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. But yeah, so according to Noam Chomsky's uh, book also, uh, grammar is independent of meaning, right? So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching, all right? I'm gonna log off.